you guys all received the packet in the mail that I mailed out. Scott, this copy is yours. Okay. I think I forgot to attach the actual budget itself. If you guys want to take a look at that real quick. You want to copy with it? Sure. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, last year, we received $23,050 from the county commissioners. We're asking for 23 this year as well. Um, on that sheet, there is our operations fund. We have two funds that we run off the operations, which is the daily operating of the office, making sure that you know payroll's done, insurance is paid. We do a lot of education things through the operations fund. And then we have the enterprise account, which is all of our small business, where our tree sale comes in and out of. Um, any sailing or any retail sales with the drip supplies and weed barrier, that's all in enterprise fund. And the county or the county allocation goes into the operations fund. So it doesn't go into fund the enterprise side. It's strictly the operating of the conservation districts. In that, the county gives us an X amount of dollars, and then the state of Kansas through the Department of Ag matches it up to twenty five thousand. So if we got 23 last year, then they prorate based on how much they get from the governor and then break it down by county. So last year we got 23 from um, the county, and I think it comes out to about 19,000 from the state. So the state is getting pretty tight with their funding. So it's just basically prorated through all 105 counties and divvied up that way. Um, some of the things that we do. At the conservation districts, um, we have cost share funds where it's, we allocate dollars from the state of Kansas and administer that money for farmers to come in and improve conservation practices or windbreak renovation, anything along those lines. Um, we are housed in the service center out at um, well, FSAs on one side and then NRCS, which is Kale Riger. He's um, in my office as well. So we are housed in a federal building, but we're not federal, we're not state, we're just local. So a lot of our dollars come from the local county. So um, we're kind of the starting place for a lot of people. You know, if they have a question, if they have a problem with a conservation practice, or if they need to find um, an outlet for noxious weeds, or um, we also do cost sharing for uh, septic systems. So rural people, or I'm sorry, urban people can use that as well in town, um, so we kind of have a diverse group of cost sharing that we can assist people with. You guys have any questions for me? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Well, I attached the letter there, and then um, I made this PowerPoint a couple of years ago, but I went ahead and sent it to you guys again since you we have two new commissioners. If there's any questions you guys have, just give me a call at the office or swing by. And then this little pamphlet was made by the Kansas Association of Conservation Districts, and it just gives a more detailed description as to what the districts do in the state of Kansas. All right, Danny. Well, we're going to work on budgets okay. this afternoon. And, and, uh, Sounds good. We'll let you know. All right. Well, if you have any questions, just give me a call. All right. You want All right. $50 less. What's that? You want $50 <laughs> I think we have to stick to what we asked for last year. So that's what. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Now, now you want the extra $50. Yes, now it's the extra 50 That's right. I hope that 50 doesn't make or break you. <laughs> yeah, we do too. You're not the only one with that. Are you? I know. <laughs> and then that um, sheet that I gave you. When they figure out um, how much, just fill this out, and then wherever, yeah, where it says like county commissioner or how much that is, and then just call me and I'll swing by and pick it up. Okay. Thank you guys. Thanks, Dan. Dolores is going to do this transfer of funds sign. Okay. Okay. I mean, you're the one that does that, right? Well, I'm kind of in between. That's good. Visible. Okay. Okay, we next? Yes, sir. Velda, you want to come up? Be my backup? Be That's my, one of the budget. Uh, Mr. Clever is just gone. Uh, commissioner approval to actually do the transfer. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Bynes. 
Good welcome, morning, Mr. Schultz. Welcome to your new position. Thank I'm you. glad that you uh, have accepted that. Thank you. So, <laughs> so with so many new faces involved, I'll give you a quick rundown. The fire was October 2010, August 2nd, 2011. The voters passed a resolution to uh, do a six mail for our project. And then uh, several years later, the commissioners appointed nine of us to a task force to uh, pursue and see why there had been no activity. It was just dormant. So nine of us have worked very hard to uh, move this forward and uh, nothing we have done, it's all come from suggestions from the county attorney and John Mapes, the county auditor. I mean, that's how we've progressed because it was a lot of stuff to sort through. Multiple meetings, Mr. Garner can attest to that. He was at all of them. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of where we are now and eventually that was rolled into a PBC, the same uh, members because we need a legal entity to borrow the funds and uh, disperse them and all that. And so that's kind of where we're at now. And so we still rely heavily on the uh, county attorney. And uh, and uh, we haven't talked to Mr. Mapes for a while, but I found out today's budget day, so here we go again. <laughs> so John, knows, he knows everything that's going on, uh, right? So if there's any questions that have got us to this point, you know, why we try to answer those. I, uh, we touched briefly on, uh, you know, we weren't satisfied with the bid packets, and uh, we will have a meeting uh, July 13th, and uh, so we will be able to have a complete summary on the bids for you for your July 14th meeting. Have you got a contractor yet? Cotton construction from Garden City. Okay. But uh, you give us two days. You get 12th and 14th, which. For budget? No, for your. You're going to have a meeting? We're going to have a meeting on the 13th, and we'll bring that summary on the 14th to your meeting. Okay. All right. Do you. Do you need any of us to come to the meeting on the 13th, or? You're, you're welcome. You're welcome to come. It'll be at 4 o'clock, and I don't I don't know the details. It might be a conference call, depending on Hutton's It's going schedule. to be in the basement again? Yes. So you're certainly welcome. It's at 4 o'clock. Okay. And then, for the July 31st meeting, we will have a a guaranteed maximum price that we'll ask you to approve at that point. So there'll be no cost overruns. That'll be its guaranteed maximum price. So, uh, so can you? I'm still confused. Uh, I'm just trying to get it in my mind. You get six mils a year. Yes. And what what do you use it for? Well, I mean, what what? What did we vote on? What did, did we vote to take care of the rest home and build, or is it just strictly for building? Well, the uh, taking care of the rest home was prior, I mean, because you signed a contract with Good Samaritan for five years. Right. So that, that comes out of the general fund, I guess. Any of those uh, short, uh, the red ink, you know, that's a separate deal. We voted on the five mil to do the uh, remodeling and the new construction and stuff for the. Uh, so is that five mil going to pay off? Six the five, mil. Six mil. Is that going to That'll go be to loan pay payments. Off? That'll be loan payments. Yeah. Yeah. And so, that's with USDA rural development, and that interest rate okay. is two point okay, seven five. Okay. That is what I. Will right. actually be lease payments to the PVC because we won't be making. So it's going to take around 12 mils to maintain. Well, the rest six. Of them. Yes. Six to do what we're doing, and then whatever the red ink is. And with. then our about a six mil letter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. That's. So we. So you you ask for six mil, and that's going to go to pay the five million bond yeah. off. Yeah. That pays the interest. 
Yeah. 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 The way I figured it, that's all it comes. Mm -hmm. Well, it'll be bond payment. It'll be uh, loan payments. I think it would have been more clear if they were, were different numbers instead of both yeah. of them being six yeah. mil. It is very If they confusing. would have been different numbers, it would have been more clear in regards yes. to how this is actually working. Absolutely. And that will happen this next year. It's been very confusing because mm -hmm. it's taken a lot of meetings to get, you know, mm -hmm. county attorney and the Mapes Miller, it's been a nightmare to get sorted out. But we finally, we're, we're just moving forward on, you know, what they finally sorted through. And now I'd like to have five minutes executive session, please. To discuss? Don, the elected personnel. Is that the right answer? Yes. <laughs> I move we move into executive session for five minutes. <coughs> Discuss non elected personnel. Second. All those in favor? Aye. And I would like to speak to all five of you concerning the PSA sure. and lots of okay. things. All right. Uh, when they're done, so. Our concern is. Oh, uh, is it saying. Yeah, wait for Scott to come out. Did we even turn it on? He did. Okay. Instead of going.